Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So this one is called five still club exercises if you're a beginner. So if you're just getting started with club bell training, this is a perfect video to get started with because it's gonna teach you some of the fundamentals and essentials of club training. If you're intermediate or advanced, I've got heaps of videos in my playlists that you can check out some of those advanced movements. But if you're a beginner, get started with this one before you're going on to some of those more advanced movements. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing is the side rocket. This is a really important club bell exercise because it teaches you how to transfer the weight from side to side and always own that center line. So we're not just moving in the linear or sagittal plane with clubs, we're also doing a lot of frontal plane which is side to side. And this exercise teaches us how to shift the weight from side to side and own that center line without getting pulled off weight. So the heavier the club that you're using, the more you're gonna to have to shift the weight in the opposite direction to control that center line. If I move a heavy club towards one side of the body and I'm standing tall and I'm standing upright and I cast that club to one side of the body, then it's gonna pull me with it. So I actually need to shift my weight in the opposite direction so I can control that midline and I don't get pulled off balance. Perfect exercise to do this one is the side rocket. So with this, normally you get started with two hands. So regressions with club training is two hands. Okay, so that's one club, two hands. Then you go single arm movements, so that's one club in one arm, and then you can go doubles, which is a club in each hand, two clubs, two hands. So to get started with, we're gonna go a two-handed side rocket. So from here, I'm just gonna set up with that club on the center line. Gonna hinge those hips back. So full arm lock, one hand close to the pommel, other hand comes over the top. I'm just gonna shift that weight to the right. As I shift the weight to the right, I'm gonna transfer the weight to my left. I've got about 80% of my weight on that left leg. And then from there, as the club comes across the center line, I'm gonna transfer the weight to the right. So I'm always shifting my weight in the opposite direction to where the club is moving. So the first variation we're gonna do is our two-handed side rocket. With this one as well, as the club's coming to my left, I'm keeping my center line facing the club at all times, and my eyes are also looking at the club at all times. Our two-handed variation, then we can go single arm, so that's one club, one hand. And then once you've done your single side rocket, then you could go doubles. Once we've done our side rocket, we've got our swings. We've got two types of swings that I'm gonna go through now. So we've got our side swing, which moves in a frontal plane, and we've got our sagittal swing, okay? So with our sagittal plane swing, gonna set up with the club around about 10 inches in front, drive those hips back. If I'm gonna cast the clubs on the outside of the legs, I'm gonna have my feet quite close in, so I've got plenty of room to go on the outside of the leg. If I'm gonna cast the club through the legs, I okay, can my feet around about shoulder width apart. For this demonstration, I'm just gonna cast the club on the outside of my legs, so my feet are around about hip width apart. And then from there, I'm gonna drive those hips back. Full arm lock, shoulder down and pack down, turn that lat on, and I'm gonna cast this club behind the legs. You can do a few small reps to get it going. And then short, sharp drive, power those forward, and then get that club between shoulder and head height. Just making sure that you wait for that club to pass the legs before you hinge and then drive forward, okay? Keep a straight line between the crown and the coccyx. So from the side, wait for that club to pass the legs. As soon as that club's past the legs, drive those hips back, squeeze through the glutes, drive down through the heels, and then pop the hips forward back into extension. And then your head position, straight line between the crown and the coccyx, and you wanna be in that 45 degree angle. So your head's at 10 o'clock, butt's at four o'clock. So if you think you're doing a broad jump, that's your most athletic stance to be in. That's the same stance we wanna be in when we do our swings. Then we're gonna go into our next exercise, which is our side swing. So once we've learned how to shift the weight from side to side with the side rocket, which we just did, now we wanna be able to learn how to swing that club laterally across the front of the body. So many movements that we do with club training is in that frontal plane, which is laterally across the front of the body. So if you're doing any, say, side cleans or 180s or even the mill, reverse mills, it's all coming from that lateral swinging type movement. So to be able to do those other exercises, this is important you learn how to do a side swing first. So with the side swing, 
it's exactly the same movement as you would a normal swing. So if you're doing like a club bell swing in the sagittal plane, or if you're doing like a kettlebell swing in the sagittal plane, it's exactly the same movement, except we're going in the frontal plane, which is laterally, okay? So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up with the club in the order position. Then we've got our outside swing. And we've also got our inside swing. So if I wanna go away from the midline, that's our outside swing. Across the front of the center line, that's our inside swing, okay? So I'm gonna start off with our outside swing. So cast that club out, full arm lock. I'm gonna transfer my weight to the left, just like I said earlier. If I cast that weight out to my right and I'm standing too tall, it's just gonna pull me off balance. So I'm gonna shift the weight in the opposite direction. So I own that center line. I'm gonna come at the bottom of that swing movement. And then for now, as I've got the club on my left side, I'm gonna drive those hips forward, come up into extension, and I'm gonna finish with that club around about shoulder height. So this is that outside swing. So I really driving those hips forward hard, getting that club back up to around about shoulder height. It's moving the club by driving those hips forward and hard and popping the hips forward. And that's what's moving the club from side to side. So that's our outside swing. And our inside swing would be if I just come across the front of the body and then come this way. Once we've done our lower body exercises, now we're gonna move on to upper body. First exercise, moving the club from the front of the body to the back of the body, we'd start with an arm cast. So we're just staying in that sagittal plane again. Another way you can progress exercise is this different plane of movements. So start in a sagittal plane first, then you can go into the frontal plane and then transverse plane. So sagittal plane is forward and back, up and down. That's your linear movements. So start off with sagittal plane, then go into frontal plane, which is lateral, side to side, then go into transverse plane, which is rotational. So there are different ways that you can progress your exercises as well. So the first one we're gonna be doing is your arm cast. So with our order position, elbow tucked into the hip, shoulder down and pat down, wrist is neutral. Gonna put that muzzle in the back pocket. From here, keep that elbow close to the ear at all times. We don't want that elbow to pop out, otherwise we flare up the ribs. So keep that elbow nice and close into the ear. And then from here, we're gonna fire up that lat, pull that elbow down. A lot of the exercises that we do with clubs is we're moving the club around the body, around the back of the body. But to be doing those more advanced exercises that we're gonna be doing later on, we've got to do the first basic exercise, which is just moving the club from the front of the body to the back of the body. Okay, so this is our basic arm cast, or some people would call this a pullover. Next exercise we're gonna be doing is a swipe. So this combines the lower body and upper body. Clubs are fantastic tools for training full body movements. And the first one we wanna be starting with, again, starting in that sagittal plane, front and back, up and down, is the swipe. So the swipe works the swing, which works the posterior chain, your glutes, your hammies, and it's also gonna work the upper body as well. During the arm cast, we're gonna be working the shoulders, lats and arms, as well as the core. So your core's gotta fire up with all these exercises in the back of that movement. You're really gonna be engaged. When we're setting up, again, you can set up with your feet shoulder width apart. If you're gonna go through the middle of the legs, for this demonstration low, I'm gonna go on the outside of my legs. So you want them around about hip width or closer. So I'm gonna start off with that club in front of the body, drive those hips back, feel the stretch on the hamstrings, arm fully locked out, straight line between the crown and the coccyx. Okay, and then from there, shoulder down and pack down, turn that lat on. So we do our swing like we did earlier. This time low, as it comes towards the body, we're gonna put it in back over the shoulder, perform our arm cast, so keep that elbow tucked in. And then from there, turn on the lat, pull down from the elbow, and then cast that club forward, back into the swing, into the arm cast. Again, you wanna finish in that 45 degree angle with a straight line between the crown and the coccyx. So your head's at 10 o'clock, your butt's at four o'clock, and you're powering the movement 
with that hip hinge and hip drive. Going to shield cast. So club training is fantastic for building circular shoulder strength. There's a lot of variations of exercises that we can do that works that movement pattern. First one, we're going to start with a shield cast and then we can progress onto other circular shoulder movements after that. So with our shield cast, we're going to start in that order position. Wrist is neutral, so you're always keeping that wrist neutral, fixed in a straight line. Shoulder down and pack down. Elbow is tucked into your hips, so that should be on the hip bone. And then from there, from holding the club in the right hand, I'm going to put the muzzle, which is the end of the club, in that left back pocket. Make sure your tricep is in full flexion behind the body. And again, pull that elbow down, fire up the lat, and then bring it back in to that order position. Okay, so that's your shield cast. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you want more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to check out our dangerously fit strength training equipment, all of our products are available through our websites. I'll leave the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.